Hello, my beautiful people from the internet. It is Connie over here. <clears throat> Good morning. I just woke up, as you can probably tell from my voice. I haven't talked much today. I'm gonna have my first cigarette of the day, which is always the first because I only smoke one, but that's irrelevant. I'm also gonna have another half of the Monster Energy that I started yesterday, but I couldn't finish because if I finish one of these in one day, I can't sleep. So I'm, it is what it is, man. It's kind of annoying. I wish I could just sip on one of those, like full on, be fine, but no. I look like a hyperactive kid like not being able to sleep and jumping around everywhere but today i'm gonna be smoking my ventil portuguese cigarette which i have a lot of thoughts on and i will be sharing those with you guys because i've been able to smoke some more of them ever since i did the review i also have some soap bubbles in case i'm in the mood to do some soap bubbles you never know i mean they're so fun why would you not right anyway let's light up this cigarette let's have a chill start of our days let's go Also, fun fact, I lost all of my lighters. I had around four clippers, like this one, but a little bit bigger, and I managed to lose all of them in a span of two days, and it was really sad, and two of them were my absolute favorite clippers. It was one that was sparkly blue, and the other one had a unicorn with an ice cream on his head. I really loved that, and I lost them all. Like, it was really sad. But you know, like, this cigarette, I am Portuguese, if you didn't know. So I've been asked a lot of times to try Portuguese cigarettes and I myself wanted to try them because they're from my country, you know. But these cigarettes, these Ventil cigarettes, although they are not bad in flavor, they are an absolute deal breaker for me because of the size of them. Now, look at this. I don't have other cigarette in here for comparison, but I think you can understand, like, these cigarettes are smaller than regular size cigarettes. So for me, as a person that smokes only one cigarette a day, having a small cigarette is an absolute deal breaker because for me, ideally, I would always smoke like a cigarillo because they are very, they are long and they take a long time to smoke or a 110, 120 size cigarette. 120, I don't think 110 exists, I don't know. But because I'm always trying new things, I will never stick to only a specific 120 cigarette, you know, I'm always trying different things. But I was very, very disappointed when I saw that, first of all, this pack just looked very small compared to and also I don't like soft packs, so there's just a lot of things with this specific cigarette that I am not a fan of, but I'm sure there's gotta be some Ventil cigarettes that are normal size and normal pack packaging, you know? But these cigarettes being so small is, it's, I can't, I can't do it, you know? It makes me want to smoke two cigarettes and I don't know if that's a good thing for me to do because I've been so good at keeping one cigarette a day for the past two years that now for these cigarettes to come into my life and make me want to smoke two because they are so small and I will still be smoking more than one cigarette. It's gonna be like one cigarette and a half if I smoke two of these, which of course is not the end of the world, you know, it's not a big deal. But I, I don't know, I like to stick to my one and have that discipline within myself. And with this cigarette it's harder. So maybe I'll smoke two, I don't know. See, like, they are so small. I can't even, I don't even have time to feel the buzz. I don't know, man. I was really sad, but there's another brand of Portuguese cigarettes that I want to try, which is called Português, which means Portuguese. And those are like normal pack, normal size. I'm sure there's normal size Ventil. I just got unlucky with this pack. I mean, I think, I don't know, I would assume. But you know what? I don't know. Let's make some soap bubbles to ease the pain of the small cigarettes. I love making soap bubbles, you know, it's such a relaxing activity. I know it may seem like childish because it's mainly a thing that children do, but there's no age limit to do fun things, you know? So I always have a pack of soap bubbles and they always have these cute designs. Look, this one has a bear and it's super, super cute. It's a bear drawing a bear, by the way. That is extremely cute. And I always just like love having kids activities because they are the most fun, you know? Coloring books are so fun and not the adult coloring books, you know, you can have, normal coloring books that don't have the very fine lines because the adult co coloring books also always have like those very very fine lines like very thin so i prefer the children coloring books i don't know i feel like there's so many activities that we keep ourselves from doing because they are labeled as kids activities but they are not you know soap bubbles only say that you need to be at least three years old but it doesn't say how old you have to be to not be able to play with them anymore so i don't know 
Sometimes I go to the park, I sit with myself, I always carry this in my bag. I'm either journaling, playing with my Rubik's Cube, which is another, not a kid's activity because you need to have a certain like ability to do a Rubik's Cube, you need to be a certain age, I think, to do it, but it's still like fun colors and whatever. And I also have soap, soap bubbles, so sometimes I am at the park making soap bubbles and all the kids love me for that. Yeah, whatever, I'm gonna smoke another one. Like, these cigarettes are too small. I don't like them. I'm gonna rate these cigarettes one out of 10. I'm being a little bit dramatic, aren't I? But yeah, today I chose to smoke outside. I am home alone, so the balcony is all for myself. So I was like, you know what? Let's open the big umbrella, make a little shade here in the table so I can smoke a cigarette in peace too, in this case. But yeah, you know, uh, Ventil cigarettes, at least these ones, the soft pack, I will not be buying again because of the size of them. And I think I've said enough about that. I don't need to keep bashing them for the size. I mean, sorry about it, but they are small. And for me, they don't work because I'm trying to keep myself at one cigarette a day. And look, is it working with this? It is not. And to be honest, they, are, they have a good flavor, it's like a mixture, it's more to the chemical side, which I usually don't really like that much, but it's still a good flavor, you know, it's not too chemical, it's not like a Marlboro Amber, not a Marlboro, a Lucky Strike Amber, they, those are very, very chemical, Marlboro Silver Blues are also very chemical, it's not as chemical as those ones, but it's still very chemical, and I prefer more natural, woody, flavored type of cigarettes like Chesterfield Originals which are my favorite cigarettes and I will I think I will be buying a pack of those next. The only flaw that those cigarettes have is that they come in a soft pack at least here in Portugal. I don't know those cigarettes are really good like compared to these ones I mean there's no comparison to be made. But yeah, you know what, I woke up today, I've been having kind of allergies. When I go to sleep, I start getting allergies and my boyfriend does as well, so I don't know what's up. I vacuumed the whole room. I like just put all of the duvets and pillows outside for some sun and I like, I don't know. I tried to take any dust that they could have. I don't think that they have any dust because I've been vacuuming the, the room every day, you know, so I don't know what's up. But I've been going to bed and like sneezing and having allergies. Oh, mm, it's a little bit too windy right now. So yeah, that has been the thing that has happened today. And I feel like I'm going to be editing for the next five or six hours because I have two videos to edit, three, three with this one, but I don't think I'm going to be editing this one today. So I have two other videos, which by the point this is being uploaded, you have already seen. It's the review for the Ventil cigarettes. And I don't know what the other one was, but you will know by the time this is uploaded. So hey, you know, it's a Saturday, there's a park right by the house, so there's a lot of kids outside, there's a lot of movement. It's a nice day, you know. I love hearing like the, I don't know, just the joy that kids have when they play in the park. They're always screaming, running around. The only thing that I don't really like, and that's why I don't go to the park on Sundays and Saturdays, is because kids love to take balloons to the park. And if you didn't know, I am deadly afraid of balloons. Like I see a balloon and I run to the opposite direction and I'm not exaggerating. Like if I see a balloon, I am running to the other side. You know, I hate them. I am so scared of them. I hate loud noises and I think I just don't trust kids with balloons. I feel like they are always going to burst them or pop them, however you say it, I don't know. But yeah, that's how the morning has been. Also been waking up a little bit late because I've been editing until like five or six in the morning because some days I just feel more inspired at like midnight and then I spend from midnight to 6 a.m. editing. So yeah, right now it's just a chill time. I'm probably gonna go empty this ashtray that I have because it rained, so it has a cup of like a bit of water, can you hear? I tried to put it close to the microphone. Some water ASMR, like cigarette water is really disgusting. I don't like it at all. Like, I don't think anyone likes it. it smells really bad, looks really bad. So I'm gonna empty it. And yeah, I drank like two sips of this. Like a Monster Energy lasts me like three or four days, which is kind of dumb because they lose all of their gas. But they, it still tastes good. Like this is my favorite flavor. As soon as I bought it, I, f I let it fall to the ground. So that's why it looks like this. It was a bit unfortunate. It exploded a little bit when I opened it, but it's fine, you know. And yeah, you know what? I hope you enjoy chilling for a little bit. Oh, that's so fun. Anyway. 
What I want you to take away from this video is soap bubbles are for every age. So don't be afraid to go buy yourself a pack since it, this is like 50 cents in my country. So I always buy two with a coin of one euro. So there's no age limit to have fun. So yeah, don't worry about what other people think because that doesn't matter at all. What I like to think is they maybe, like some people could maybe look at me and be like, oh, that's kind of, why is she making soap bubbles? Isn't she like 20 something years old? Even if someone thinks that to themselves, they are just going to go continue on with their days and they're never going to remember me again. So I will have a lot of fun and people will not care. Maybe some people will even have fun with me. So don't be afraid of doing fun things because of what other people think because it doesn't matter. So yeah. I'll see you all very soon, okay? Bye.